We here, nigga. Yeah. Real as niggas by landslide. Uh-huh. Show sure enough, I'm about to blow up, cause I'm tired of walking around landmines. Yeah. Rap savior, hellraiser, don't worry, nigga, I claim both. Uh-huh. One nigga that's unsigned, that's off the chain. Yeah. Chain go. So, <laughs> tell the people your story, man. And yeah, while you do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post some more of this old fashioned. I just want to say that stop <laughs> <laughs> because this is aviation got me feeling like I can tell my story. So stop reporting my content. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on, you gotta tell them your name. What's your name on, on IG? I'm always Kayla Renee on Instagram. Um, and for for those that know me, they know that I'm the most sweetest like genuine like i'm really not a mean girl i may look like that sometimes because i look like my daddy yeah you know what i'm saying but i'm the sweetest nicest person that you would know so there is no reason to be reporting my content now if i know some of my thing you know some of my content may be a little racy but if you are not comfortable with that, I think you should unfollow. Like because now it's at the point that my page is at risk of being deleted. Yeah. Because of the number of people that are reporting my content. And that is really messed up because like in this new age of social media, that's how you can get a bag off social media. So Listen. Like, if you reporting somebody content, you really Listen, cutting off their bag. You cutting off my bag and I'm the most supportive person that you will ever meet. Like if you if if you my friend or if you somebody that I you know what I'm saying that I fuck with you know what I'm saying I'm gonna fuck with you back. That's just how I am. But for some reason and like that Instagram has already contacted me. Like I actually had the possibility of monetizing my page, and this is we under five thousand followers. Yeah. Because my reach be like twenty thousand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. But now I can't monetize because of the number of <laughs> reports. That they've gotten saying that I'm out of the community guidelines. So what I'm trying to say, really what I'm trying to say is that, <laughs> listen, we can be supportive of each other. We don't have to be at each other's neck. And then if you are Thanks. following someone or you are associated with people that you, you're not really feeling what they are putting out, what they have going on, like talk to them personally, number one. And they're like, hey, girl, you know, this is just who I am. Or like, this is what I'm going to do. If you're not comfortable, remove yourself. Yeah. But never stop my bag because when I find out <laughs> who you are. But I'm going to say this, like, with, with these social medias, I don't learn that they got, like, certain algorithms in place to pick up certain shit. So mm-hmm. I don't know if that what it was or somebody was reporting it because, like, I post something on uh, TikTok, and uh, it was it was a little on edge. I had posted on uh, uh, Uncorked the podcast, close friends, and I posted it on TikTok like stories. That took my shit out immediately. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I mean, it, it is what it is. I hate like I hate that. I hate that I can wake up the next morning and my post is gone. So I seen you repost the post that got took where well, the recent post that got took down. Is it still up? And I wasn't gonna even make a fuss. I reposted it with less racy clips and it's still gone. I was gonna say it looked the same. It's gone. It, it, no, it was a little different now. Oh, I mean I can't tell because it, there were like two or three <laughs> clips that I, Listen, y'all, I'm comfortable with me. Like I want women to be Comfortable with themselves, like yeah. look, look, like I was the girl coming up where people was like, "Oh, you too dark," "Oh, you got yeah. big lips," and then back in the day, you know, it wasn't, um, I guess, trendy to be a little bit more curvy. So it's like you was fat yeah. back then. You was fat, you know. So it, I don't know. I want women to be comfortable with who they are. I definitely feel your neck. Yeah. Be comfortable like, in, in who you are. Listen, I, I don't know what to say because Mark Zuckerberg, in the words of my nigga Boosie. He, <laughs> <laughs> listen, his page gone every today. <laughs> Boosie, Boosie, you about what you give up, my mm-hmm. nigga. <laughs> like, and we know you're a friend of Jackson, so we ain't talking down on you. Bro, br- 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 you probably yeah, need to start yeah, your own yeah. platform. We, we definitely fuck with you, Boosie. Yeah. Like, if you get the right engineers and people behind you you really can get a bag by yourself without instagram Mm -hmm. 
That's really true. And then you can have like tap their reviews and uncourt the podcast on that bit. Like because for real. he naturally funny to me. Like Boosie, he like, he he naturally ignorant. And, yeah. and it's not an insult. Like he just yeah. he is who he is. Yeah. He don't try to be funny. That and that's the funniest people in the world. Yep. <laughs> the ones just living their life and we just happy to record it. So do you got a two turn story? Like a time where like let let's speak on the black gen when you was on that black gen. Back in 07. Back in 07. That was a long ass time ago. That was a long time ago. I, I was, was like going to the 12th grade. I think I was maybe same thing. I, I was like going to the 12th grade. I was 17. Grade. And 17. Yeah. <laughs> you graduated 17? No, I didn't graduate in 17. And at 17. No, no, I graduated 18. Well, I graduated at 17. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. So you class what, 08? 08. Okay. I am. From what school? I am. Columbus High School. Oh, okay, okay. And since we on it, just shout out to Columbus, Mississippi, the GTA, you know. But yeah, my two-turn story was so turned out. I don't really remember everything, but yeah. I know that the party was in Tupelo, Mississippi. And I'm from Columbus, Mississippi, so that's like a 50-minute drive. Yeah. So yeah. I don't have a two two-turn story. To, to share. share. Oh, that, that, yeah, hey, that's all they, cool. They already reported me. Like, I don't need no other reasons for them to hate me. Like, they, oh, she a drunk. <laughs> Report. <laughs> no. Listen, she posted all this content and she drinks liquor. And she drinks liquor. And she be drunk. Like, no. Hey, hey, listen. Liquor is like, whoever invented liquor, I thank them. Because <laughs> I feel good. Listen, y'all. We had the Hennessy shots. And let's just go back over it, y'all. The old fashioned, it wasn't. <laughs> so the aviation was number one, then the old fashioned, Definitely. and then the classic margarita. Like, I feel good right now. Uh, listen, I'm lit. Like, I'm I've, with you. Like, thank whoever made liquor. Like, listen, thank you. I thank whoever made liquor. Real talk. Like, this is giving me the energy to make some content. So. <laughs> make sure y'all, <laughs> make sure y'all follow Uncork the podcast Please. on all platforms, especially TikTok. We growing on there, uh, or and, and of course YouTube. Make sure you follow Tap in Reviews because uh, I'm gonna start. A, matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know, and this is gonna be on Uncork. I'm starting a series. Hmm. Grab that bottle right there, that Hennessy bottle. Okay. See y'all. This is look at the party started. So. Anybody that follow Tap Them Reviews avidly, no, I don't fool with this. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Jake Fever. He 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 the Hennessy King. Okay. If you ever follow Jake Fever on TikTok or whatever, he got every Hennessy that has ever been made. I swear to God. He a Hennessy connoisseur. Okay. He, a, he is a cognac connoisseur. Shout out to him, man, because I stick to just the original. Yeah, he, he got BSOP. He got... I have had VSOP. That, BS, I, that like all of them. That that VSOP like have you doing cartwheels and you ain't never these gymnastics. <laughs> he uh now I'm gonna say this Jake Fever I ain't seen you with the uh the Paradise that that bottle like mm. twenty five hundred dollars or some shit like that mm. I don't know I seen Shannon Sharp with it but I ain't seen you with it Jake Fever so you got to get that bottle I'm, oh my god this is me calling Jake Fever out to wow. get that bottle of Hennessy dang but uh. I'm starting a series on Tap Their Reviews where I'm trying to make Hennessy taste better. So, if you got any. It's the shirt that he got on today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not approve. So, <laughs> if you got any combinations that you like with Hennessy or that you want me to try to make me like Hennessy, leave a comment. And we're going to try that on Tap Their Reviews. But the first review I'm going to do, I'm going to filter this thing with a brittle filter and see if it make it taste better. But uh, that's that's all we got for y'all. That's, uh, that's another episode of, a uh, little bonus episode of Uncork and a little snippet of Tap Reviews, and we got this thing.